I said bicycles or tulips, where would you think of? Today I'm with my friend Alika who's from Holland and she's going to tell us a lot about her part of the country. Alika, <laughs> hello. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. First of all, can you can you tell me, should I be saying Holland or perhaps the Netherlands? Yeah, I prefer you say the Netherlands because um, Holland is only the western part of our country. It's North Holland and South Holland, North Holland and South. That's also where Amsterdam is. And um, the other parts in total, it's the Netherlands. So it's in fact better to say Netherlands. Okay, is it as bad, do you think, of saying, um, are you English to somebody who comes from Scotland? Because that's a mistake that a lot of people make when they come to the United Kingdom. I think you can compare it with something like that. Some, some people are quite sensitive to that then. We have to yeah. be careful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, when I think of the Netherlands, because I have been uh, quite a long time ago now, um, I went with my family, but I always think of bicycles, tulips, windmills and clogs. Do you have a pair of clogs? <laughs> no, really. <laughs> do you do you <laughs> do you wear them a lot? <laughs> I wear them in the garden. Oh, do you? Yeah. When yeah, I'm you gardening. don't wear Wellington boots like we do in the UK. You know the big rubber boots. You don't mm. wear those. <laughs> <laughs> no clogs, eh? Because we're in the Netherlands. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you find them practical? Oh yeah, they're really warm. In winter, they they are. It's, it's really warm. And um, but for I, sometimes I see people who cycle with clogs, and I don't dare to because they can slip and or they can go off your pedals. And I, I I wouldn't dare to do such a thing. But but over here, not a lot of people are still wearing them. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm living in um, in the um, a bit north of the center of the Netherlands in Ermelo, and it's a very tourist area. Do you say tourist area? Touristic, perhaps. Touristic. touristic. A very touristic area, and um, but we also have a lot of farms and and so and farmers, and s some of them they really wear clogs, and sometimes it's also, for instance, my son he's 23 and. Um, boys of his age sometimes when they are they want to show they are from the countryside so they put them on to show we are uh, not from the from a city or a town we are from the countryside so for yeah. fun they wear clogs <laughs> when they go when they go out or... so what, what's it really like where you're from I mean when we think of the Netherlands I mean, I always imagine it being very flat. Is it really flat yeah. everywhere? It is, it is. But um, at the at the German border, we have hills uh, yeah. and that's really beautiful. And also in the south near Maastricht and um, Lim Limburg, uh, Lambour. That's, okay. uh, that's, there, there are hills over there. And over here, we also have a few tiny, tiny little hills. So where, this is... Uh, really a touristic area and we have everything we have water we have forests we have uh, farms but we also have heather and um, uh, also heather? Um, what's heather i'm not sure everybody knows what heather is it's um it's a, a beautiful plant the the uh les moutons the sheep they eat them <laughs> yeah they have, in august they bloom and they are a purple purple flowers it's a small uh, a small bush about okay and yeah. um and when it's it 
here it blooms in August and then everything is purple, it's beautiful. And we have a, a few little, well, it's not really a hill, but you can see that it's not exactly flat. That's really beautiful. You want to visit it, it has to be August but now in May it's beautiful too we have the tulips are some tulips are still flowering and a lot of um, blossoms apple trees um, pears and ch cherries and beautiful it's really beautiful now so where where you live you say it's quite agricultural is is that crops is it cereal crops or is it more animals well it's um the crops are more in the polder we are at the other side of the water there is uh, the polder which was which used to be the an inner sea but they um they made uh, land out of water it was a, an inner an inner sea but um they because we have such a small country and we needed more land so they they put sand in the in the water and they made a big uh, polder it's called and uh, okay. and there you really have big crops of of all kind of things but also um fields of tulips and and bulbs beautiful colorful um it's wonderful in fact um flowers in general in holland is quite a big business no yeah i'm saying that because i believe that a lot of flowers we have in the shops here in france come from the netherlands <laughs> yeah that that's that's in holland that's the western part okay. mainly the south uh west there they have lots of uh, also um, bulb fields and uh, yeah, tulips. You mean flowers that come from bulbs. Yeah, so tulips. Like and, tulips. Um, what are those yellow ones with like trumpets? I don't know. Daffodils. The... Daffodils. I love daffodils. They're my yeah. favorite in the yeah. spring. <laughs> yeah, daffodils yeah. and um, hyacinths. 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 Yeah. Hyacinths. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we have this very, very big, but now during the pan pandemic, it was hardly open, but it's a very big, it's called the Keukenhof, and they really have thousands and thousands of all kind of bulbs, and it's beautiful, uh, and sometimes in special forms, uh, if you see it from above, then it's, for instance, we have this Miffy, you know, this this rabbit, Miffy? Ah, yes, yeah, and yes. Then, a feel and a big a kind of a field of miffy in a in a in an or in a uh, pink uh, dress, <laughs> and uh, but it's all hyacinths. So uh, it's white, the ears, the, the face, all hyacinths, and then uh, a pink dress, <laughs> and that's in the the Keukenhof, uh, But that's also in the west, in the southwest. My, my husband who you have met I'm afraid he really doesn't like tulips <laughs> so he's, oh. he's not happy in Holland if we have tulips growing here he takes the lawn mower you know yeah and he mows over them oh, oh la la <laughs> well it's not his favorite flower but no. I have some I have a little free library and behind it I and it's for kids. I I planted all colorful kind of tulips and in beautiful also with special forms. And um, so I hope yeah. your husband is not going to visit us. <laughs> <laughs> he might because... destroy your tulips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he wouldn't dare. Don't worry. <laughs> um, um, but no. your question about what, what is it crops it's a uh, over here it's very in this that's why it's su such a touristic area we have a lot lots of camping sites and uh, um, second homes and uh, and also because we have woods we have um, the fields where the where cows eat how, how do you call them meadows <laughs> meadows meadows. Yeah, meadows with pretty and, flowers also, beautiful farms with um uh, the roof is of 
plants that grow in the water. What is the name in English? <laughs> is it plants that grow in the water? You mean like the water lilies? <laughs> no, no, no. The reed. We call it reed in English. Rice. But reed. you eat. No, no. reed. It's, it's uh, long, long and thin. And you can, in France, they also have it. Shome. Shome? Ah, shome. Yeah, that, that's uh, thatch. 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 Thatched houses, yeah, we yeah. have a lot of those in England too. Yeah, yeah. but over Thatched here as houses. well. It's beautiful. And we also have um, near here uh, is the smallest um, city of the Netherlands. It isn't even a city. It's a... Little it's village? A, Hamlet? No. <laughs> Town? It's a little <laughs> castle. It's a little white castle. It's the Vatican. <laughs> no, it's called Staverden. <laughs> And they um, they have peacocks, white peacocks. This province is called Gelder Gelderland, Gelre. And we had hell. Gelderland, Gel like hell down there. <laughs> Not hell, Gelderland, Gelderland. Gelderland. What does that mean? Does it mean anything? Oh, probably. But that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> But we used to have a duke centuries ago, and he, on his helmet, he wore white uh, feathers, feathers. Of, the, of the white peacock. And they were grown at this smallest city of the Netherlands, Staverden. And they, are, they still have those white peacocks. Beautiful. When they open their tail, it's yeah. like, like a bride's... Uh, dress you know yeah. when a woman yeah. is marrying she has this a veil yeah a and veil. and it, yeah. if you see their their tail yeah i can show you it's i like have a fan yeah I'll, I'll show you i have a picture ah okay that would be cool what is she bringing <laughs> i'm a french teacher and oh, you're a French teacher. Lesson, uh -huh. Yeah. I knew that. And in my lesson, in, in, we, we make up stories. And ah. this is, here is one. It, this ah, is where yes, they I are. can see, I can see it, yeah. But these, these, oh, you see wow. the, the tail? Yes. And, and you've one? made a fan. No, they are, we make stories in our lessons and these were main characters okay. of the story. Okay, okay. The, yeah, the they white were... peacock. Yeah. You know yeah. my husband, yeah. guess what? He doesn't like peacocks either. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you what else can you tell oh, us about no. that he might like to come and see because he doesn't want to see the tulips and he doesn't want to see the peacocks <laughs> well perhaps he likes uh, would he, like he would love to see that definitely <laughs> well, this is uh, this is the little castle where the white peacocks where they where they live and that's the smallest town in the Netherlands. Yes. Yeah, it has uh, okay. city rights, but it never became a, a town. It, it always stayed only, it was only the castle and, and a few farms and with thatched roofs. <laughs> but that, uh, it never grew bigger. And perhaps so, they got these rights because they, they gave the, they were the ones who supplied, who gave the, the feathers for his, for his helmet. So it sounds like there's yeah. quite a lot of things to see then where you come from. Yeah, you can do a lot of cycling here because it isn't, it's quite flat or a little bit, um, so it's really nice. So it sounds like yeah. it's a good place for an outdoor holiday. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And we, we also have um, sand dunes, but there is no sea, but there's, it's the, this yellow fine sand, like you see on a beach in here yeah. in the Netherlands, but it's here in the middle of the country. We, we have these, um, 
yeah, kind of sand dunes. It's also very special uh, with special little plants and flowers and it's very, very, yeah, it's, it's really very nice surroundings over here. Great. I'll invite you all to visit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that too loud. <laughs> Oh, oh, and we also have uh, um, um, a mill over here. A mill, of course, like a windmill or an old windmill. A windmill, and um, it um, about I don't know forty years ago, perhaps or thirty years ago, there was a thunder and lightning, and it struck the mill. It uh, burned down, but only the foot, the foot stayed. Yeah. And then for a few decades, for several 10, 20 years, they, there was a group of people who were raising money, who were doing all kinds of things to get money to rebuild the mill. Yeah. And I think about, I don't remember, 10 years ago, it was rebuilt. And I think it even has also thatched roof. I don't remember. I see it very often, but I... <laughs> Don't remember. I think the roof is also with thatch. But I I saw when it was uh, rebuilt the the top of the mill. It had to be reinstalled with a very big. Um, how do you call these machines? They are a crane or what is it? A, a crane. Yeah, like the bird. The bird? Yeah, like, yeah the, we have, there's a bird as well called a crane. It's a very yeah. tall bird with long legs. Yeah, yeah, we call it in Dutch also a kraan, yeah. a kraanvogel, a crane. Yeah, yeah. a crane. And so I, I saw that they, uh, with a crane, they put it on top of the, the mill. The top of the mill was installed with a big crane and, and then we had a mill again. <laughs> So now you have everything traditional. You have the bags, you have the tulips, <laughs> you have the clubs, <laughs> and you have the windmill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's been really lovely chatting to you. Thanks so much for accepting. Yeah. I think Thanks. if you wouldn't mind chatting again, I would be so, so interested to know how people in the Netherlands learn English because a lot of people speak English very well and I know you personally you speak French very well too because like you said you're, you're now teaching French so <laughs> that would be great if you could come back and tell us about that sometime. <laughs> I will and thank you very much for inviting me and it, uh, it was really nice to talk to you and uh, seeing you again. Yeah, I hope I see you really again soon. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> In real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourself. Yeah, and you too. See you soon. <laughs> bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.